Welcome back to Enjoy English. I'm Stevie. I'm Angela, and I'm Frank. Today is Tuesday, the twenty-first of September, and we are looking at part two of our sports lesson, talking about a world of water. Yesterday, we talked a little bit about surfing, about water rafting or white water rafting. And、uh, river tracing some of the fun water sports that that you can do in Taiwan. Today we're going to learn a little bit about some other water sports.、Uh, these are usually sports that we play in pools.、Mm. Um, things like we're going to see in the article: synchronized swimming, water polo, things like this today. Hmm. Mm. 好，所以呢，我们上次提到了这个台湾的这一些水上的活动啦。啊、uh, ，譬如像这个溯溪啦、泛舟啦，泛舟的英文叫 white 啊、uh, ，white water rafting。OK， 我们都可以学起来。那它的船是 inflatable boat。OK， 这种会充气的船。OK， 但是溯溪这 river tracing， 这些都是非常实用的字。So before we look at our article today, though, we're first going to have a look at building your vocabulary. Number one, rarely, rarely. 很少，鲜少。Sam rarely exercises, so he is getting fatter. 好，这个副词呢，其实就等于 seldom, s e l d o m, seldom， 很少的意思。Just to tell you, in Western culture, any English-speaking countries,、mm. Europe, Canada, the U.S., Ireland, anywhere. Well, Ireland's in Europe. <laughs>、um, <laughs> any of those places, if you were to actually say. Wow, you know what? You've been getting you've been getting fat lately. That's、um, so insulting. And I know in in、yeah. Chinese culture and in Taiwan, and that people say this often. Oh, and you're eating you're eating pang on boy. You feel out a little. No, feel to mention、even. somebody's weight to say it in a positive way. Say, wow, you're looking good lately. That's、oh. always good. No, not always. Actually, for some people, you shouldn't mention it either way. Talking about、okay. people's weight. If you say, "Oh, you're looking thinner," they'll think, "Oh, was I fat before?" It's just、mm-hmm. a bad idea. Well, I didn't say you're looking thin. I said you're looking good. Well, okay, looking that's good always okay. okay. But never mention people's weight. Yeah, and let's. 千万不要提到体重了 And if you say, "Wow, you're getting you're getting fat," holy Ooh, cow, that's really rude. That's rude. It's extremely rude in in English speaking cultures. <laughs>、mm. 对，在英语这个文说英语的文化的国家呢，这个说人家讲到人家体重都是很没有礼貌的。Or asking how much money they make—that's、yeah. kind of rude too. Yeah. Number two, score, score. 在比赛游戏考试中得分 Peter didn't score a single point in the game. Hmm. Bummer. Betty felt bad. We also have some phrases, phrases for, for learning. learning. Number one, carry out or carry out. 进行执行 The agent carried out the secret plan. Number two, be compared to. Be compared to. 和什么比较 Jessica hates to be compared to her sister. I don't know anyone who likes it. Yeah, or no, your brother, or your anybody. Number three, kick something out or kick out somebody. 驱逐撵走 The rude man was kicked out of the club. Number four. Have the upper hand or gain the upper hand? 占上风 I gained the upper hand in the final chess match after I took my opponent's queen. Number five, catch on, catch on. 
受到欢迎，蔚为流行。This song has caught on because of its lovely melody. Number six. It is a matter of. It is a matter of. 只是什么的问题。It's a matter of how well you do your job, not how fast. All right. We also have some extra words. And number one is one that I just used.、Um, synchronized swimming. Synchronized swimming. 花式游泳 And of course, that goes along with synchronized. Synchronized. 同时的，同步的。Number two is gymnastics. Gymnastics, 体操 Number three, ballet. Ballet, 芭蕾舞 Number four, diving. Diving, 跳水 Number five, water polo. Water polo, 水球运动 Number six, goalkeeper. Goalkeeper, 守门员 Number seven, hockey. Hockey, 曲棍球 Okay, let's look at paragraph one of our sports lesson: A World of Water. While there are many water sports in and around Taiwan, there are also some that haven't made it to the island. Synchronized swimming is so popular that it became an Olympic sport in 1984. This is a combination of swimming, gymnastics, and dance. That is carried out under, in, and on top of the water. Synchronized swimming can be done alone, but it is mostly performed in teams of two to four people. This sport was once called water ballet and has been around since the beginning of the 20th century. In 2000, the Olympics even added synchronized diving to the schedule. Okay, while there are many water sports in. And around Taiwan, there are many water sports here in Taiwan and around the island, but there are also some that haven't made it to the island. There are some that you know have not made it here yet that we don't see in Taiwan yet. Hmm. So in any case, while there are many water sports in and around Taiwan, 好在这里的这个 while 是 although 的意思，虽然 OK， 所以不是当哦，这里是虽然。Ah,、uh, there are also some that haven't made it to the island. 有一些活动呢，有一些水上活动是还没有在台湾发迹的。Synchronized swimming is so popular that it became an Olympic sport in 1984. Now, synchronized swimming is number one in our extra words, and、um, we'll find out what it is in the next sentence. 好，我们看到 synchronized 这个字来自于动词 synchronize， 大家都听过啊，就是在啊，这个是一个动词啦。Let's synchronize our watches， 就是我们把这个我们的表对准时间这样子。嗯、OK， 所以校对你那个表的时间。好，在这里呢，它变成是过去啊，过去分词当做形容词用，表示同时的、同步的。OK， 所以 synchronized swimming 在这里呢，它是一个活动，叫花式游泳。Okay, it's so popular that it became an Olympic sport in 1984. That is 非常的受欢迎。那受欢迎到什么样程度呢？在一九八四年，它成为一项奥林匹克的运动。That was a very good use of synchronized、mm. to synchronize your watches.、Mm. We use it very often like that because I tune into ICRT. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> let's synchronize our watches. Okay, next sentence. This is a combination of swimming, gymnastics, and dance. Okay, we're talking about synchronized swimming. It's a combination. It, it includes all of these. It includes swimming. It includes gymnastics, which is number two in our extra words, and dance. But all of this is carried out or done under the water. In the water and on top of the water, so while they're floating up on the water, and to carry out is number one in our phrases for learning.、It、just means to do it, to finish, to go and do something, to、mm. carry it out. You could say it. execute it. Execute it.、Uh, mm. That's one way of, of saying doing it. This is not the same execute as to kill somebody. No, <laughs> not to same. execute a project or to execute a drawing. E x e c u t e. E x e c u t e. It means to carry out. 对这个字呢比较难一点了，是中中高级的字。Execute 有执行的意思。我们一般说执行力 ，execution， 那个是它的名词。另外，这个是 execute 有处死啊，把人家处死的意味。Okay. 
。好，所以在这里呢 ，this is a combination of。OK， 这是一个什么样的结合啊？结合了什么呢？所以我们这个常用 a combination of 点点点。OK， 它是结合了 swimming 游泳 gymnastics 体操 and dance， 还有有这个舞蹈。OK， 那后面呢？这是一个形容词子句 ，that is carried out 啊，它是被这个执行。我们刚刚用到这个 that is executed， 它是被执行的。Under, in, and on top of the water 是在水底啊，或者在水面上。So synchronized swimming can be done alone, which is to say you can kind of do a dance routine in the water by yourself. But the reason it's called synchronized, it's because mostly Two or more people do the same dance routine at the same time, and so it's mostly performed or done in teams of two to four people, teams or groups of two to four people. 嗯，所以其实这个花式游泳就是俗称的水上芭蕾了啊。水上芭蕾 （synchronized swimming） can be done alone， 可以单独呈现、单独来从事。But it is mostly performed. 通常是大部分的时间是怎么表演呢 ？In teams of two to four people， 是二到四个人这样组成一队来表演。But I've seen it done in groups up to twenty, which is pretty、yeah. amazing. So this sport. Was once at one time it was called water ballet. Ballet is number three in our extra words. I'm sure most people have heard of ballet. So this sport,、uh, at one time they called it water ballet, and it has been around. People have been doing this sport since the beginning of the 20th century. So basically, in the early 1900s, people started doing this.、Mm. 这一项运动呢 ，the sport was once called 被动语态，它曾经一度被称为 water ballet， and has been around since the beginning of 20th century。OK， 在这个二十世纪初，我们看到 the beginning of。OK， 那这个在二十世纪初的那个时候呢，就已经存在了。OK， has been around 这个 around 形容词表示存在的。In 2000, the Olympics even added synchronized diving to the schedule. Diving is number four in our extra words, and it means to go head first from a platform into the water. So to jump into the water means you land feet first. Diving means you land head first. And synchronized diving means means that two people dive exactly the same way at exactly the same time. Or in some cases, three or four. Three or four, but usually、yeah. it's two. Yeah, usually. And it's incredibly difficult to do well. It's it's hard to do. Can you imagine? Going up on a platform, doing the exact same movements at the exact same time, jumping off and hoping to land in the water, also at the exact same angle. Everything at the same time. Yeah, it's very hard. And you hard. turn yourself in the air. At the, wow, it's just incredibly hard.、Yeah. I can't imagine. I just find it amazing that anyone can do it at all. Hmm.、Mm. 好，所以在这里呢，在两千年的时候呢 ，in two thousand, ah, the Olympics, ah,、uh, 这个奥运会 even added synchronized. Diving to the schedule, 甚至在行程表当中呢，加入了这个同步跳水这样的一个运动了。All right, we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come back and learn about water polo. Okay, we are back, and let's look at paragraph two and three. Another pool sport that is rarely played in Taiwan is water polo. In water polo, each team has six members and one goalkeeper. Players pass the ball to each other and try to score goals, all while swimming and not touching the bottom of the pool. Water polo is sometimes compared to hockey because people can be kicked out of the game for a short period of time. This means that the other team will then have the upper hand and can score more easily. Whether it is indoors in a pool, or outdoors on a beach, or in a river, some water sports are really starting to catch on in Taiwan. It is only a matter of time before the others do as well. Okay, so another pool sport that is rarely played in Taiwan is water polo. If something is rarely done, it means it's not often done. Sometimes, but almost never. 
So this this rare sport is water polo. Water polo is number five in our extra words, and in a minute, in a minute, we'll explain what it is. 好，所以所以另外一项呢 ，another pool sport， 另外一项这个水里面从事的活动呢 ，is rarely played in Taiwan. Is water polo 是什么呢？啊，这个台湾很少从事的，就是这种水球运动。And when you say something, it's a pool sport. It's a sport that's played in a pool, as opposed to an ocean sport, which is like surfing. 嗯。嗯，所以这个 pool sport 就在水池游泳池里面，所以这个进行的这个活动了。So in water polo, each team has six members and one goalkeeper. So there's seven people, six people who swim around and try to get the ball and put get it into the goal, and one goalkeeper. Goalkeeper is number six in our extra words. And for those of you who are watching the World Cup this summer, I know、mm. Taiwan really got into it this summer. I did too. Yeah,、mm. um, that's what you call.、Uh, it's the same in in water polo or in soccer.、Uh, the goalkeeper, or we call him the goalie. G O A L I E. G O A L I E. The goalie. The goalie and the goalkeeper. Those are the same words. The same、okay. people. Okay, so goalkeeper and goalie 都是一样的，就是守门员。Okay， 在我们足球场上的那个守门员就是这一个字。好，所以 in water polo， 在这个水球运动上呢 ，each team has six members， 有六个成员。我们看到这个成员这个字 ，a staff member， a family member， 都是用到这个 member。And one goalkeeper， okay， 上面六个成员，还有一个守门员。And I think I mentioned this， but I want to make sure goalkeeper is six in our extra words， just to make sure <laughs>。Okay, so players they pass the ball to each other and try to score goals.、Um, score is number two, two in our building your vocabulary words. So it, it means you try to get the go- the ball into the goal, just like when you're playing football or or hockey. And all all of this is done while swimming and not touching the bottom of the pool. It's not like you're trying to avoid touching the bottom of the pool. You're playing it in what we call the deep end, which is water that is deeper than people are tall. Yeah, you can't touch the bottom when you're playing water polo it's because you, it's too deep. Yeah, it's not that you're not allowed to. It's that you simply can't. So you're、mm. treading water the whole time. To tread water is to swim in place, so that you're not moving around, but you're staying afloat.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, yeah, I used to do this sport when I was a lifeguard. It when I was eighteen, it's tiring. It's really tiring. This the sections are really short because no one can tread water for more than ten minutes without being exhausted. You can、mm-hmm. tread water, but not while you're trying to play. Get the ball from somebody and trying to shoot. It's it's tiring. I've played especially、this. the goalie because in order to catch a ball, you have to jump out of the water without having anything to jump from. So you have to use your strength to just、oh. you jump out of the water from the water. You swim.、Like、fish. You swim hard. And, yeah, yeah. It's really tiring, but really fun.、Mm. 好，所以刚刚听到的这一个，在水球运动呢，你是非常累的，因为你你在水里面这样跑动啊，那些跳出来跳起来都要花体力。而且呢，这里讲了 players pass the ball to each other， 这个球员呢，他们会互相传球，然后呢 ，and try to score goals， 他们呢要试图要得分 ，all while swimming and not touching the bottom of the pool。这个同时呢，他们都是啊，他要游泳而不能够碰到这个泳池底了，因为这个刚刚讲过 ，this is done at the、uh, the deep end of the swimming pool. Yeah, there's the deep end and there's the shallow end.、Mm. Oh, the, the deep end 就是在水池深的那一块 ，the shallow s h a l l o w shallow end of the swimming pool 就是浅的那一块。OK， 还有刚刚听到踩水这个动词叫 tread water。OK， tread water 就是踩水。So water polo is sometimes compared to hockey. Okay, water polo is sometimes compared to. Now, to compare something or be compared to something is number two in our phrases for learning. And they people say it's similar to hockey, which is number seven in our extra words, because people can be kicked out of the game for a short period of time. In hockey. Uh, like in 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 many games, if you get kicked out of the game,、uh, somebody can come and replace you. 
Mm. In hockey, when you get kicked out of the game, no one can replace you. Yeah, you're just short a team member, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big hockey player. I'm sorry. So in water polo, you'll have six players players on one side, and maybe sometimes four players on the other, which means that it's much easier for them to get a goal. Yeah,、mm. uh, and to be kicked out is number three in our phrases for learning. I mean, kick, get out. 好，所以呢，我们看到。这里看到这个水球运动，有时候会被比喻作啊、呃，会拿来跟什么相比呢？就是这个 hockey 曲棍球 ，because people can be kicked out of the game for a short period of time。可能在球赛这个刚开始很短的一段时间的时候呢，就有人会被踢出去了，比如说犯规啊什么的。好，是在这里呢提到说这个运动跟这个曲棍球很像，因为当这个人被判出场的时候，是没有人能够取代他代替他，所以有时候呢，呃，可能场上四个人对上六个人这样子。So this means that the fact that some people could get kicked off of your team, this means that the other team will then have the upper hand and can score more easily. If you have the upper hand, that's number four in phrases for learning. It means you have the advantage. It means that you are stronger than your opponent for that moment. Hmm. 好，所以 this 啊，这个意味着什么呢 ？This means that. The other team, 另外一队 will then 那么他就会怎样呢 ？Have the upper hand 会占上风了 ，have the advantage 会有这个好处，会有利益 ，and can score more easily 可以更容易的得分。嗯、having the upper hand and having the advantage, those those are also great phrases to remember.、Mm. Next sentence: Whether it is indoors in a pool, like we were just talking about synchronized swimming or water polo. Or it's outdoors on a beach, like surfing, or in a river, like water tracing or river rafting. Some water sports are really starting to catch on in Taiwan. To catch on is number five in our phrases for learning, and that means some water sports are really becoming more and more popular. It used to be just a few people. Uh, did these things? Now there are more and more people doing it. It's catching on in Taiwan. 好，所以 weather 啊、uh, ，在这边是无论了。所以呢 ，whether it is indoors in a pool or outdoors on a beach or in a river. 啊，所以无论是在室内的泳池或者室外的海滩或溪流 ，some water sports are really starting to catch on in Taiwan. 在台湾呢，这一些水上活动真的是开始蔚为流行，受到欢迎了。So it's not catch on, but catch on. The emphasis should be on on. Oh, catch on! And then, so it is only a matter of time before the others do as well. To be a matter of time, a matter of anything, is number six in our phrases for learning. So, just wait. You know, water sports are becoming so popular that probably synchronized swimming and water polo will also become popular. 嗯，接下来他最后一句说到 ，It is only a matter of time. OK， 只是时间早晚的问题。我们看到这个用法 ，It is a matter of 啊、uh, ，a matter of 什么东西 ？It is a matter of time. OK， before 啊、uh, ，这个用片语我们后面也常加上这个 before something. OK， 这是时间早晚的问题。Before the others do as well. 那其他的呢？哎，其他的也这么受欢迎，其实也是早早时间早晚的问题了。Now in high school. Uh, we used to play what we called water basketball.、Mm. It was in water that was just up to your. It was like up to the top of your chest, not over your head. Oh, so you were standing in the water. We were standing in the water That's still and hard. swimming, and standing and swimming, and you had、uh, five people on each side,、mm. and there was actually a basket. That was on each side of the pool. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, and you had to run and swim and jump and do whatever you could to get that ball in the basket on one side, and the other team could do anything to keep you from doing it. It didn't matter if they pushed you back because no one could get hurt. You just、yeah. fall in the water. It didn't matter. You jump up and they grab the back of your shorts and pull, pull you, you down. down and pull and off your shorts. Sometimes <laughs> pull your shorts down. That's kind of embarrassing. There is no flagrant foul in those well, kind of games. Well, there's no you, you can't there's no hit、referee. people. You、oh. can't hit people, and or you know you couldn't punch somebody. <laughs> But I mean, as far as pushing people or dragging them underwater or、oh. you know anything like that, 
you couldn't punch people in the face and you couldn't you couldn't really hit them. So it's really rough horseplay that it's you're rough doing. horseplay. You couldn't <laughs> hit people and you couldn't like purposefully try to drown people. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. those were not good things. But other than that, you could have a really good time. But let me tell you, you play this game for 20 minutes, you are ex- a world of water. While there are many water sports in and around Taiwan, there are also some that haven't made it to the island. Synchronized swimming is so popular that it became an Olympic sport in 1984. This is a combination of swimming, gymnastics, and dance that is carried out under, in, and on top of the water. Synchronized swimming can be done alone, but it is mostly performed in teams of two to four people. This sport was once called water ballet and has been around since the beginning of the 20th century. In 2000, the Olympics even added synchronized diving to the schedule. Another pool sport that is rarely played in Taiwan is water polo. In water polo, each team has six members and one goalkeeper. Players pass the ball to each other and try to score goals, all while swimming and not touching the bottom of the pool. Water polo is sometimes compared to hockey because people can be kicked out of the game for a short period of time. This means that the other team will then have the upper hand and can score more easily. Whether it is indoors in a pool or outdoors on a beach or in a river, some water sports are really starting to catch on in Taiwan. It is only a matter of time before the others do as well. Exhausted. I believe it. <laughs> because in the water, you know, it's kind of harder to move. Right. And, and yeah. Yeah. But it's, it was so much fun. I'll tell you about water wrestling next time. <laughs> That's all the time we have for today. We will see you back here tomorrow for more Enjoy English. Bye. Bye.